All right, I'm here. I'm here with Iyad Al Kurabi. Iyad, uh, you did something interesting today. I don't know. Uh, I probably upset quite a few. Uh, we had actually quite a lot of interruptions during the plenary uh, today. Specifically, we had one with uh, Elizabeth Warren, where you broke in and uh, and shouted at some sort of a Palestinian uh, to support a Palestinian issue. Exactly what are we talking about here? A couple of things. Uh, one, I. I, uh, I just wanted to first start in saying um, much solidarity and love with the two actions that were taking place before and the action that's taking place right now at Netflix Nation. Um, that is for reproduction of justice. Um, there's a couple of cases, a couple of ways to talk about the, the policy conversation with Warren. Right. Well, I, I don't think, I, 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 when you interrupted Warren, I don't think she was talking about international issues at that point, right? She was. Yeah, she was talking she was about, about the, well. She was speaking about the wall, I believe. And then you got up and you shouted. What, tell, tell us exactly what you shouted. I shouted. What about the Palestinian occupation? What about the Palestinian wall? You can't talk about border walls without talking about um, the, the border walls of old border walls. You know, the border walls of uh, what happens in Palestine. Uh, and what happens in Palestine? You talk about the Israeli occupation and what's going on where. Uh, where the United States of America donates a lot of money to um, the Israeli occupation, to military occupation in, 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 in Palestine. And, and it always gets ignored. Senator Warren and a lot of other people have ignored analyzing and having conversations on these issues. No, I think one of the well, a concern that you brought to me when you, when, when you, uh, was that uh, there was a young man who was arrested in uh, by the uh, security forces of Israel, and you said he was arrested unjustly. What, what, what's about that? So there's a current case that's happening in which that four um, United States senators are issuing a letter urging Secretary of State Rex Tillerson to monitor the conversation on monitor the conversation on um, what's happening to uh, Isa Amra, who is a uh, human rights organizer, a community organizer in Palestine. Had uh, now they arrested him. Kind of, but he's out. He he, he got he's bailed out, but he's he's free right now. And he was turning this country talking about what's going on to him, where they're trying to arrest him for a very long time. Protests. Right. Now, I think you were trying to equate the situation with our concern with having a border lock wall or concern for the Latinos versus uh, concern for Palestinians who are currently undergoing a, to, for all practical purposes a system of apartheid. And that, I, I think you also mentioned in, when you came that the, the mother of all walls is already in existence in Israel, as you say. Is that correct? Some of the phrases I would say, we didn't cross the border, the border crosses us. And, and when we talk about borders, urging Senator Warren to join the four senators, Feinstein, Senator Feinstein from California, Senator Sanders, Senator Leahy, and Senator Durbin, I'm shocked that Senator Warren Warren is not on board to urge accountability for human rights activists in Palestine. There's been several cases in which the government of Israel targets and harasses Palestinians who promote non-violent, peaceful community organizing. Like, community organizing in Palestine is now at risk, always been at risk, but now they're targeting people because they do peaceful organizing. That's how crazy things are. No, so what do you, so what do you want? Uh, what do you want Senator Warren to do? What do you want the senators to do? A couple of things. One is talk about the border wall and talk about the occupation. Two, urge Israel to leave Isa um, Amro alone and let him live his life and he do what he wants to do. Drop the cases, apologize, and give reparations to making his life, making life, passing to him and do hell. Apologize, get palace. Palestinian reparations and the occupation in Israel. Defund and stop giving money to Israel. Stop. 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 Stop letting mayors and governors take police departments 
to Palestine to learn how to kill black, black and brown lives in America. Stop the revolving door of the military industrial complex and the police industrial complex in this world. Stop sending people. Stop allowing the Atlanta Police Department, the Ferguson Police Department, God knows where else, to go into Palestine to learn how to shoot Palestinians in guerrilla warfare. Not only that, stop making BDS illegal. Support BDS. BDS is a non-violent movement trying to hold folks accountable. It is a cry that the Palestinian people are wishing. We need to stop the exchanges, the deadly exchanges in police departments and areas in, I'm saying this again because I want people to know that police departments exchange knowledge and weapons from here in America to Israel and Israel to America. And that needs to be talked about. And that needs to not be ignored. And, and, and stop with the Muslim ban, stop the border walls, and just free Palestine. Real. Iyad al karubi Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you are with the Hampton Institute. Hampton Institute. And QPEN, which is the Queer Palestinian Power Network. Thank and also you. I want to say uh, Black Lives Matter, Free Palestine. Uh, we didn't cross the border. The, bro the border crossed us. And that no ban, no wall. Uh, when that being said, we'll go ahead and wrap Smash the KKK. <laughs> Thank you. So we'll